Hello guys, this week is the first week of my postgraduate studies. I have started my PhD studies still in UPM. I'm really excited about this journey because it's a new journey for me. Yeah, so let's take a peek on what I do during my first week of my postgraduate studies. Let's go! I've just finished my breakfast, so since I still have a bit of time before I go to my lab, I would like to read some books, some ebooks on my iPad. Really, I've been trying to read at least 20 pages a day. Uh, this is because I have a goal in my 2022. I would like to read like at least a book every month. And so far, by reading 20 pages every day, I've been able to complete let's say seven books at the moment which is in March so I'm really happy with my progress I've been really busy this week because I've just moved in and everything so I have not been reading consistently every day so I would like to pick up the reading habit again so yeah that's what I'm trying to do so I'm going to start reading right now finished reading so I'm now going to head to my lab because I have a class letter so let's go I'm done with my class my first class in my postgraduate studies yeah, so this class is on research methodology. It is aimed to expose students to the steps involved in doing a research. So it's a course that everyone in postgraduate studies have to take. So yeah, it's still an online class and that's about it about today. So at the moment, I am going to start working on my research stuff. Just really very basic starting process. Yeah, so I'll do it now. Today I have finished editing my proposal and it has reached the end of the lab session for today. But before I leave this lab, I would just like to share with you all how this postgraduate study thing started. So I always knew that I wanted to do postgraduate studies back when I was in my year 3. And then I sent in my application in June or July last year and I got my offer letter. But because of very personal reasons, I decided to take a 6 months break and deferred my studies. It was really a good decision, so I'm glad that I did it. And yeah, I'm back here in UPM doing my PhD studies at the moment. So a little bit of background about my research. I'm doing my PhD studies in electrical power engineering, which was what I did during my bachelor degree on electrical and electronic engineering. Because I cannot really review much about my research as I have only just started. The only thing that I can share about this research study is that it is on autonomous robotics. Yeah, so it's related to my interest and I'm just really excited to start. So this week is my first week of the semester and it has been a very hectic week. I've just moved in and there are plenty of things to adapt to and 
it happened that I had my convocation ceremony this week and also I needed to go around the campus to do all the registration stuff for my postgraduate studies so I was really busy for the week but then now that everything has been done and this is thanks to the help of my friends and my supervisor and my family and friends and uh, without them I can't do it so thank you guys very much right now at the moment there's not much to be done but I have started doing some planning with my supervisor on how we are going to conduct this research I know that this research is going to come with its own sets of challenges but yeah I think I have to be ready and overcome those challenges learn and grow from them yeah so I'm doing this in order to record my PhD journey and to share with you all so I think that's all and I have to head home right now okay so now I'm going to head back to my hostel looking from the weather at the moment I think it's going to be raining heavily uh, later in the evening so I head back to my hostel I like to stop by the library to borrow some books so let's go this is my faculty at the moment it's so empty at the moment our faculty is having hybrid learning so some lecturers that prefer to do classes online some prefer to do it offline so yeah i'm not really used to my faculty being this empty especially at the start of the semester it's really <laughs> new to me okay i have reached my library empty library this is my dinner for tonight i am really glad to have this chinese mixed rice for dinner or for lunch every day now that they have this delivery service to our college our hostel every day so i'm just really happy to have some chinese food whenever i want it yeah so i'll start eating my dinner so now i'm back in my room i've had my dinner and my shower and it's currently 9 30 another round of studies to upskill myself. One thing that I really like about postgraduate study is that I have all the time to myself at night. So usually it's uh, going to the lab to do postgraduate related stuff in, uh, during the daytime and then at night I would have all the time to myself to do anything that I like. So what is there to complain about? This is entirely different from what I've experienced during my undergraduate studies where I used to have to spend my night time during weekdays and weekends joining activities just to collect merit to stay in college. Uh, at this point, I don't really need to join any activities. I get this accommodation, this hostel to myself. Yeah, and I'm really very very grateful about that and another thing that I'm very happy about today is that I got to visit the library and borrow the books that I am really interested about which in this case is this renewable energy system it comes with some simulation examples for simulating and sim power systems so I am really excited to learn about this another book is on power system analysis and design so this is a subject that I really regret not taking seriously during my third year. I really wanted to do well but then the lockdown happened, things got distracted so uh, I just thought that I want to redo this, want to learn this right again and this time learn it right before things get really busy since it's just a semester right? Alright, so talking about the semester. My first semester will focus more on having classes, completing all the credits needed, just like an undergraduate student. Using this first semester as the time where I am still a student again, I would just like to learn as much as I can. But of course, at the same time, there will still be some research work going on, which is pretty interesting. And tomorrow, which is a Saturday, I am going to have classes. 
So one thing dif that's different about our postgraduate studies is that you have your classes all over the weekends, unlike undergraduate studies where you normally have classes during their time on weekdays. I'm really excited to see what it is what is going to happen. I took class some classes that I am really interested in, so I'm going to share about it in the future, hopefully. So right now I am going to study something which is on artificial intelligence. So the course that I'm going to go through is this MIT Deep Learning Introduction. It's available on YouTube, anyone can watch it. I think the bacteria are really good, the instructors are really good. So since everyone has free access, I think you should also go through the courses and learn more about deep learning. After all, it's by this very renowned university in the world, MIT, right? So yeah, there's a lot of free resources right here. We live in a very interesting era. So yeah, so um, right now I'm going to start walking, start studying, yeah, let's go. by MIT. I would say that it's really a great video, a great course taught by really great instructors on the theory of recurrent neural network. It's good, it's informative, so anyone who's looking to learn about deep learning should definitely check this out. Yeah, so it's getting really late right now. I figure that I should sleep because I'm really sleepy and I cannot go on learning anymore. So I guess I'll put an end to today's video. Thank you for watching. Today. I'm just sharing with you about this new chapter that I have started. And that's all about it for today. So see ya!